So we have a question and they give us some information and we have to determine which of these types of interests do we have. Now there's one important word in here, which is simple describing the interest. So right away, there's only two choices in this chart, row one and row two that use simple interest. So we don't need to worry about anything below this compound interest annuity, none of this is important for this question. So we have to decide how much, and we're gonna be looking for total amount, but how many times is this interest gonna be computed? This particular question, it doesn't say that the simple interest is compound, or not compounded, that's not the right word, it's not compounded, but how often is it computed? If it doesn't say the interest uh, should be a yearly interest, so if it doesn't mention anything, you always default to yearly or once per year. And because of that, we have simple interest over time. There's three years in this question. So which of these do we need for our question? So they give us the total amount at the end. So they give us A and they're asking for the initial deposit, which is always gonna be P0. So this is the formula we need to use right there. So let's go ahead, write that formula down. P0 equals A over one plus RT. We don't know the initial principal amount. We know the final total amount is we need 1300 and in the denominator, our rate is 4.9%, but of course you need to turn it into a decimal, 0.049 is 4.9%. Uh, I just moved the decimal place over twice. And now T is how many time periods, and for us, we have three years in this problem. So all I need to do is type this into the calculator. And I've done this computation already, but we'll do it laid out this way. So if 1300 in the numerator, and I hit the slash to get to the denominator, one plus parentheses 0 0.049 times three. That's not a three, that's a three. All right, there we go. So we get, that was one, one, well, let's just copy and paste to be exact. No reason to truncate this. There we go. Okay, so that's our answer right there. And let's check this. That's exactly what we need. Now the default rounding in all of the financial problems is to the nearest penny. I don't know why I wasn't thinking of that a second ago, but I don't need to keep all these decimal places. I just need the 0.39 because it'll round down to 39 cents. All right, the tricky part of most of these questions is figuring out what row you're on. Uh, sometimes if it says simple interest, you're in the, one of the first two options and you just have to decide how many times interest would be computed. If it's a one-time computation, you're right here. And if it's more than once, then you're gonna be down here where we just were. You could, right here, if t equals one, you could use these, this formula here, because if t is one, it basically will just disappear off of any of these computations in here. But it's not super obvious, but just remember if the frequency of computing the interest is not stated, the default is once per year.